Did you know that you and your students have the full functionality of Immersive Reader when you are using the online version of Outlook in Office 365? Simply open up a mail message. For instance, I've opened up Danny's uh, latest episode of Tech 5. And here in the right corner of the message, click on this drop down arrow for more actions and select Show in Immersive Reader. Now, because I'm using Immersive Reader again in an online app in Office 365, it's actually remembering all of the settings that I adjusted the last time I used Immersive Reader um, in an Office 365 app. This can be very handy for your students. They're not always having to go into those different preferences and adjust their settings. Again, this is only if you continue to use Immersive Reader in the online apps in Office 365. But let me just show you around Immersive Reader. It is the same as what we saw when we used Immersive Reader in OneNote, as well as in Word Online. You can see that if I want to play uh, my text or have my text read aloud to me, I can just simply click on a word and click on the play button here at the bottom of my screen. Here are your Tech 5 updates from the MTech team. I can adjust those voice settings by clicking on the speaker with the gear icon here next to the play button. And again, I can speed up the voice, slow down the voice, and choose between a female voice and a male voice. Notice that um, aside from the preferences uh, or the settings that I've set up for my reading view, uh, notice that Immersive Reader has actually reduced this text visually. So we're not seeing any images, different font styles, different font sizes. Everything looks pretty similar. The reason why you're seeing these different colors uh, for different words and phrases is because here in grammar options, I actually have nouns turned on and verbs turned on for parts of speech. That means that those two parts of speech are being identified in my text. I also have show labels turned on. So that's why you're seeing the little abbreviations such as V for verb above the verb and N for noun above each noun. Notice in grammar options, here's where I control syllables, whether I want to turn syllables off or have words broken into their syllables by turning that on. Aside from grammar options, I have the same text preferences. I can adjust the text size, increase the spacing between the letters of individual words, choose from three specific fonts, as well as from a variety of themes. Finally, I also have reading preferences. If I click on reading pre preferences, this is where I can turn on my line focus. And again, if I close these preferences, you'll notice that I have the choice of either having this read to me and the line will automatically follow the reading. Or if I'm reading it myself, I can scroll down or scroll up by using the arrows here on the far right side. Let's just turn that line focus off. And don't forget, you also have picture dictionary built in to Immersive Reader. So again, you can just click on a word such as fall and you will see visual representations of that word if there is a visual that is associated with the term.